If you or someone you know has diabetes, you may have built up an extra supply of test strips and lancets. That's where we come in. We'll buy the supplies that you don't need and resell them to those in need to prevent waste. Help us make diabetes management more affordable. Visit us at teststripswithaz.com. This is something, yeah, this is something. Yeah, sure. You think about that a lot? Yeah. About what? On the big stage? Man, you know, having my first amateur fight, you know, back in 2014, never thought I would get one to the UFC, two fight at the Garden, or three fight in the same guard as, as the GOAT. Now it's like I get all three of those in one night. It's, it's kind of surreal to me. It's like I'm just kind of living in the moment, and it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a big night for both myself and Lozon. It's like this is, this is, this is like a legit dream. It's, it's, it's pretty outrageous. Clearly, there's a lot going on. Obviously, you're fighting at home for the first time. Yeah. For your first UFC win, you're fighting with John on the same card. Um, you know, what are the emotions going into something like this? I feel like there's just so many different angles of this that could be your perfect story. Man, this is, this is all. I'm literally in the middle of a dream. There, there isn't any other way to look at it. This is, um, I trained so hard to get to this point right here, and. This week is the most crucial to make sure that you don't get bombarded with those emotions. You know, let those emotions come after the fight where, where, where everything settles down. You're like, you know, holy shit, I'm actually, you know, I just fought in, in the garden. But now is not the time to let it happen. You know, the time right now is to focus on, on October 18th and, you know, Boston and I are going to fight. And then afterwards, now, now things can set in. Be like, dude, holy shit, you know, I just fought in the garden and on the same night as Lowe's on. Like, this, this is pretty outrageous. And you and Boston are pretty good friends. I take it uh, you both debuted on the same card. You got to know each other a little bit. So were you going out there and punching somebody you like in the face like that? For fifty thousand dollars extra, absolutely not, absolutely not. I mean, we're gonna go out there, we're gonna put on a show. Um, you know, Boston. I, you won't hear me say a single negative thing about Boston. He's an awesome dude. Period. No question about it. His skills are great. You know, I'm excited to share the cage with someone with, with that was as, with as much talent as him. I think uh, his style and my style go very well together, and, and it can be nothing short of fireworks. You know, we're gonna both go out there. We're just gonna bang. That's all. That's literally all there is to it. Um, you know, you know, Boston's a game pony. He's a, he's a cool. He's a cool kid, and, and you know, I, I gave him a so. I was supposed to train with him. He opened up his he opens up his arms to, for me to stay with him at his house and you know train with him whatever. And you know I, I had I had given him a call. I'm like yeah, I had some good good news and some bad news. He's like well what's the good news? I was like well probably gonna be fighting on the same night again. He was like really? I'm like let's go win fifty thousand dollars. Like that's you know let's let's get this bonus. You know let's, let's put on a show for everyone and, and we'll, we'll take full advantage of this. You know it's it's obviously his name is Boston. He has a lot of ties to Boston. I'm from here so fans just better not be cheering for him. They better be cheering for me. That, that's all there is to it. Well, we're gonna get fight of the night. Um, I get. I guess I can't be selfish because he's a friend of mine. It, had had I disliked Boston, I'd say no. Nah, you know, fuck that. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the performance of the night. But I, I like Boston, so let's share this. So you want a close fight, not like a strong I want I want a banger of a fight where people are like, dude, holy shit! Like the fans won that fight. The the judges don't even. It doesn't matter. You know, I just I just, I just want I want a good show. I want people to know who I am, who he is, and I want I want. I want to I want to set the path going forward that you know when it's time to fight then these two guys are they're gonna fight. Your last fight you went against Brandon Davis took the fight a couple of weeks notice um, first career loss what did you learn from that? Um, I, I took a lot more positives than I did negatives you know going into the you know I, I nearly quadrupled my cage time just in that one fight I'd never been past like a minute and a half in a fight and I'd never been punched in a fight there was one point in that fight where I saw six of Brandon Davis I was like holy like this is this is really fucking strange you know it was, it was weird to like actually be involved in a dog fight but I learned a lot. A lot of good things. A lot of good things came from that. Uh, I learned that I have to compose myself when, when, when I'm under pressure, when things are going good, and when things are going bad. You know, I had him hurt a couple times, and, and I got too overzealous, and I kind of blew my opportunity to finish. And then when he caught me, I kind of I kind of made a couple mistakes that uh, gave him the opportunity to get the finish. So I think I I think I took more positives from positives than negatives from that fight for sure. And going into that fight, I had four fights experience. You know, that's I won the lottery to get into the UFC as it is. You know, I was a unicorn going in. No one knew anything about me besides I had a couple knockouts and that's really it. So it was cool to go out there and actually see, you know, what I'm about. What how tough am I? Am I actually tough? Am I am I a fighter? Like fuck yeah I'm a fighter. Let, let's let's go. Now you took the fight it was very short notice. Do you think that if you had a I mean I know you're always in the gym but I think you had a full eight, twelve weeks to focus on Brandon there aren't, there aren't, there's no excuse. I'm not. He, he won that fight fair and square. You know, any MMA fight, it's a four ounce glove. You can catch anyone anytime. You can, you can get knocked up by like a, you know, a six year old girl or a, an 80 year old man. It does not make a difference. The four ounce glove, it's going to be a 50 50 shot. Had things been different if I was given eight weeks, who knows? We'll never find out. Or maybe we will find out. But, you know, on April 13th, I lost that fight and, and Brandon won. That's all there is to it. Joe said, uh, Joe said uh, two years ago, you win. He's not lying, man. I took I took a four-year layoff between my last amateur fight and my first pro fight. When did the switch flip for you? Do you remember 
for that moment? Uh, man, it was it was actually kind of strange. Um, it's a, it's a story that I can't really talk about because it's very inappropriate. But uh, I got I got invited to go to the UCPI with with uh, Rob Font and Calvin Gator, and I was like, I can't go out there and like be this O and O pro, you know, three and O amateur who hasn't fought in forever. I have to like actually sack up and take a fight. So I took a fight, and then it's kind of all history from there. You know, it's just. It wasn't. This wasn't like a goal or aspiration of me to get here. You know, like a, like a in a in a big picture. Obviously, as soon as you step in the gym, you want to you know make it to UFC. But it was never. It was always like this big pipe dream. It was never like this real thing that could actually actually happen. Now it's here. Now now it's like we're taking advantage of it. It's cool. What do you think the UFC thinks about you? I mean, think about it. You, you got very inexperienced, but you're getting all this. I mean, that's got to say something about that they have that much trust to kind of get you the media. Yeah, I mean, I think. I think my last fight showed for itself. I gave, you know, I only had four fights, but I went out there. That Brandon's last, Brandon's opponent before me was Zabit. He went to the second round with Zabit. Zabit didn't hit him the way that I that I was able to connect with Brandon. So you can, you can, you know, my my skill, my skills in that fight spoke for themselves. Granted, I lost the fight. I think I showed a lot of a lot of a lot of positive things and a lot of you know uh, potential. I, I'm going to have in, the, in, in in this in this organization for sure. I think that's something that a lot of people were saying about, like, wow, this kid, you know, very experienced. How could you do this? And that was a lot of things that people were saying about you. Yeah. What do you think people are going to be saying about you Saturday morning after Friday? The kid's not a hype train. The kid's really out of his fucking mind. He, he knows how to fight. That's all. You know, he, he, I want people to be like, oh, you know, oh, Randy Costa's is on the card. All right, fuck yeah. We, we have to watch this fight. Like that. That's all there is to it. And I want to be known as that guy. I want to be known as that guy. Like, you know, people can tune in and watch me. People can get behind my personality. People can get behind my, my fighting style. And I'm just bringing. I just want to bring excitement. That's really. You know, this is a dream, dude. This is a dream. I just. I just want to have some fun. That's all there is to it. What do you want to say to your city? and stand the fuck up. It's gonna, it's gonna be insane, man. It's gonna be insane. One kind of funny talking point is that uh, Boston's very close, obviously, with Jeff Pulver. You're very close with Joe Lozon. I know, I, I believe he said Jeff's gonna be in the building. Do you find that whole thing kind of funny? I do think, I do think it's kind of funny. Um, I don't think it obviously has any play in the fight whatsoever, but I mean, it is kind of funny that, you know, Joe's debut, he knocked out Pulver. I'm fighting, like, Pulver's right hand. Boston's fighting Lozon's right hand man. It's kind of crazy how everything's coming full circle, but it's just it's just funny, stupid. You know, Boston and I are gonna fight, and that's all there is to it. Last question. Uh, we talked about it in depth, but how much would it mean to you to be able to hold Devin Carey's picture up in the inner circle, right there? There it is. Always, bro. Always. It's gonna it's gonna be something. Even even just walking out to the garden, looking at his family, and be able to like, dude, like, we fucking made it. Like that's all, that's all there is to it. You know, it, it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty outrageous. That's for sure. And it, it, that that alone is a dream come true. Dream, win or lose on Friday night. That, that's 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 a win for sure. That's a win. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks for us. Yeah, sure.